Then check this out. Hello guys and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how you can install XAMPP on your local computer and I will be using Windows environment. And if you want to see all XAMPP videos or all my software videos, just visit my channel. There is all videos about software on my channel and it is on my channel's homepage. <laughs> Let's open browser and as you remember we came here or I will show you again from the very beginning google.com you go to google and in google simply type in XAMPP okay type in XAMPP and first website which you will see is Apache Friends just click on this one and you will be redirected to this Apache Friends web website which we talked about in previous lesson or video what is XAMPP server and if you want to install it you just need to know what is your operating system if you are on Mac then to choose this one XAMPP for OS if you are on Linux you choose this one however on Linux you can install it from Bash very easily and if you are on Windows just click on this one and as I am on Windows I will click on this one see it's exe file and once this download will finish click on this file and it will start installation process so and your download will start automatically and as you see her guys here if your download doesn't start automatically like mine did then you just need to click this click here your download will start automatically if it doesn't click here click this link click here and it will start downloading until it's downloading I just wanted to talk to you about this XAMPP and about this environment. In this video I'll show you how you can download and actually this is what is happening now. And uh, in next video we will be talking about XAMPP in more detail. We will have a look what is environment of XAMPP. I will show you where you locate your web applications, how you can locate your web applications, how you can create your web applications. We will be actually doing all these things in XAMPP and we will have a look what is XAMPP panel, control panel, how you can set up database in XAMPP, how you can access database in XAMPP, where is MariaDB database or MySQL database, you can call it however you want, I'm more used to MySQL as I am actually certified MySQL database developer and I'm more used to term MySQL, but you can call it MariaDB. But these databases are very similar. However, now I find that MariaDB is much more powerful and much more accessible database rather than MySQL native database, which is owned by Oracle, as I mentioned to you in previous video, guys. So now once we have downloaded this file, you just double click on this file and it will open up. It will prompt you. Do you want to allow? You say yes. It will just computer will ask you. Do you want to allow this download? You just click yes. Okay, you just click OK. Then welcome to XAMPP wizard next and here we select all and click next. This is the folder and remember this folder C backslash XAMPP. I will show you this in file system. Uh, just remember this, just keep in mind that this is C and XAMPP. And this is where your XAMPP will be installed, all server. And this XAMPP folder will include PHP, it will include MariaDB, it will, it will include everything what is in XAMPP packet. All applications will be in this folder XAMPP and click next. I don't need them so I will uncheck it and click next. Is now ready to begin install XAMPP on your computer and you click next and it is unpacking files and then it will be installing these files on my computer. And after this has creating the XAMPP setup wizard, you do you want to start the control panel now? You just click finish and if it's checked you say yes and click save. This is how XAMPP control panel looks like. And to start Apache server you just click start button there and to start MySQL database you click this start button there. And you click allow if you have any fire firewalls or anything on your computer. Now my Apache is running because this is green and my SQL database is running as it is green. And to check if it is if it works you just go and open your browser and type in localhost and click enter. 
And when, well, if you get the same as me, as this exam, Apache MariaDB PHP plus Perl, this means on localhost dashboard, as you see there in URL, then this means that your Apache exam environment is installed now. And in next video, I will show you how you can configure this, how you can find your way around, and see you in my next video.